Hey y'all, this is your girl Ricky the Empress and y'all some back in the building. This will be a love reading for my Leos. And we're gonna see what your ex has to say to you. Cause uh this definitely is Gemini retrograde. I say Gemini. Mercury retrograde in Gemini and uh things we'll get fishy. So let's get started, guys. Alright. What is the overall energy for this connection spirit? Got a shuffle of these cards. All right, what is the overall energy for this connection for Leo spirit? What is the overall energy for this connection? Three of swords in reverse. Okay. Let's see what the romance oracle says about this. One more shuffle for Leo. We're going to get started. Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You got this could be the one. Flirt for giving and learning. Makes sense with the three of swords in reverse. All right, spirit. Where is my deck? Shuffle up. As you can see, three of swords in reverse. Oh, wow. I didn't know something was on my shirt. I apologize. Okay. This could be the one. Flirt. For giving and learning. Somebody trying to find a way back, way back to you, baby. I don't know why I heard that in my head. All right. Please clarify the three of swords in reverse. All right. Oh, wow. Somebody is standing that ground, and they're going to win at all odds for this reconciliation Uh. Somebody's a competition for you. They're willing to do whatever to get you back. Uh, ooh. I don't know if this is a good or a bad thing yet. Yeah. That ain't no resistance. That's somebody standing their ground meaning what they say. That they're willing to do whatever they got to do to get you back with this Six of Cups energy. All right, uh, oh, that's overall energy. How does this person feel about Leo? Ten of Swords. Uh, possibly they feel like you stabbed her in the back, or you may have stabbed them in the back. Glorify the Ten of Swords, please. Hangman. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. You got the Hangman, this, the Star, and. So, there's some type of delay going on right now, but I feel like somebody is taking the time to look at things from a different perspective. And I feel like somebody's trying to heal or renew some type of relationship that they have. Uh, the Hope card is a beautiful, yeah, Queen of Swords, Three of Pentacles, and the Lover. Somebody's going to come in and speak their truth. Do they want to try and work on this situation because they love you? Because they have a really strong romantic connection towards you, Leo, or you to that person. Uh, yeah, they're trying to bring, they're trying to get this to the situation, like, with the tennis swords, you know, that's the ending of everything. Sorry, guys. <laughs> with the tennis swords, you know, that's the ending of everything. So, what they're trying to do is actually work on the commitment and the, the, whatever you have. You understand? I definitely see that. We're going to see what else is going on. Yeah, I had to take my uh friends out for this one. This is this is good. And the morning because I got me nothing to drink. I'm just really enjoying this reading. I like the energy behind it. That's why I said I don't know. I can't make no, you know. All right, let's see how you feel. How does Leo feel about this? How does Leo feel about this connection? Knight of Cups. Okay. 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 Yeah, somebody gained some type of perspective. They had to look at things from a different perspective. Um, yeah, you possibly broke up with this person, and then when you left them alone, Leo, they had to see things for what it was. All right, overall energy for the Knight of Cups. You got the Shrimp card in reverse, the Judgment, the Page of Swords, and the Six. Uh-huh. So, somebody is no longer being stubborn and trying to hold back due to them receiving a wake-up call and actually seeing things. With this page of swords energy, um, 
The page of swords has some type of inner truth that they also see. It's not about delivering news or being nosy. Sometimes the page of swords sees things, and I feel like whatever they saw, they had to see whatever inner truth or truth that they thought that they needed to see, they saw because now they're starting to move forward. Um, I don't feel like with the six of swords that's leaving the situation, I feel like they're just trying to get things. They're trying to see if they can get things to common waters in a better situation with you, Leo. Or you, them. With the scrum card in reverse, that's your energy. So this is what's going on with the seven of wands, yeah. This is your energy. Whoever it is that you left alone, you want them back. Okay, Leo, let me find out you're trying to do a resurgence. Okay, let's see what the overall outcome for this situation shall be. The Emperor. It's not a bad thing. Hmm. Let's see. Clarify this, Emperor. Clarify, please. It's not always a bad thing. Three of Wands. You coming out as the Three of Wands. Seven of Swords and the Five of... Oh, wow. Okay, so this is what's going on. Um, I feel like you're waiting for the results of the situation. I feel like you're waiting to see what is going to happen. I feel like you're very optimistic about it. But with this seven of swords energy, I feel like you're kind of pessimistic and one foot in, one foot out due to you having a lot of regrets. You understand? It also feels like the energy of you might, yeah. Yeah, I see what's going on. I feel like you're going to wait to see what's going on, but you kind of in and out, though. That's going to be the results of the situation. But with this emperor energy, um, I feel like you might take control of the situation. I feel like that's what you might be doing with this three of wands. You're now more optimistic. Because with the seven of swords and the five of cups, this is all past energy. All of this is past but I feel like it started over again for you because you're now at the three of wands instead of seven. So now you're waiting to see the results of this situation. But I feel like... I feel like you're kind of pessimistic, though. You're in and out, though. Do some past regrets, though. I feel the energy of regret. But, uh... Somebody got to take control of this situation. That's what Spirit is saying with this Emperor energy. You, somebody has to take control. Uh, it might be you. It might be you or it might be you actually waiting on this person. But I feel like you're skeptical about, about everything. That's the energy. Every time I look at the Seven of Swords, I hear it skeptical. Skeptical. I feel like you're skeptical about, about things. That's what's going on. And don't put that energy out there if you really want this person back in your life. It might be due to Mercury retrograde. So be careful with the decisions that you're making. Um, I'm going to check the messages of love or cadet Leo. Let's see what your ex has to say to you or you have to say to them. All right. Okay, children. Children are important to this partnership. So you might have children with this person. This person might have kids. You might have kids. Uh, this might be the beginning of something, but I feel like somebody might be pregnant too. That's what it really feels like. That, that's why somebody want to work on this. That's why the three of swords is in reverse. Leo, somebody might be pregnant. Integrity. Does this situation align with your morals and values? Yeah, that's. I told you. I feel it. Somebody pregnant. Somebody like, nah, I can't, I can't do that. New love, a new love or a recommitment to love is developing. Yeah. Twin flame, this is the bad, yeah. Yeah, twin flame connection. But with this twin flame connection, I feel like it's a little deeper. You got acts, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment, soulmates. Lover's card came out. So, uh, you could be connected with a Gemini. You could be connected with a Pisces, Aquarius, uh, Aries. Let me check. Anything else? 
uh, with the judgment card, Pisces, Scorpionic energy, a lot of water. This is your soulmate. This is a soulmate connection. That's what I thought. Yeah, this is definitely a soulmate connection. Passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. Photograph, looking at your photographs, missing you, nostalgic, make new memories. Yeah. Yeah, this person is like, no. Healthy choices. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, transition. You got healthy choices and coffins. Somebody is deciding to step up and do what they got to do. Um, if you're not pregnant, you will be. Somebody is deciding to do right by the person that they got pregnant. It could be somebody that is married, but I, I don't feel marriage. I feel like you're in a long-term committed relationship with this person. And I feel like this person got pregnant and you and whatever happened, happened, but y'all trying to come back together. I don't know who I'm talking to, but you, if you hear me knocking, let me in. Let's see what this person possibly wants to say to you with this Hidden Truth Oracle deck. Because, Leo, this is, you're doing the right thing. This is actually good. Kudos. I like this energy. Whoever this Leo is, whether it's a woman or a man, you are doing the right thing. You're making better choices. I feel like both of you have grown up. Overall energy. Okay. You are now we're too young. I'm starting to understand our connection. I'm so attracted to you. They love the shit out you. I wish I could take my words back. I knew exactly what I was doing. So, this person was talking shit to you to hurt your feelings. They knew what they were doing to hurt you. But what they mean by you and I were too young, I feel that you and them were... When I say young, I, I don't feel like the age. I feel the energy of somebody both being immature in a situation. And I feel like now that this person lost you and they went through this sacrifice, they're really hoping to actually renew what they had with you. They're starting to understand that you are the one for them. And they love the shit out of you. They, they love you. They're so attracted to you. You still turn them on. You still make them feel good, Leo. Uh, it's all about how you go about this. Don't go into this with doubt because I feel like this is a very good connection. I feel like that you are actually doing what you're supposed to do. I feel like if you are single and this person comes back to you, that you're going to see the change, but allow them to show you that change and vice versa for the cross watcher. For Leo, uh, if you have children with this person, I'm sorry, I feel like you either had just had a baby or you are pregnant by this person. I know what I feel. I don't know why. I'm telling you, I know what I feel. I know what I feel. I feel like somebody is pregnant. I really do. I feel like somebody is going to have a baby that is a Leo or is dealing with a Leo. I feel it. So don't be surprised if somebody end up pregnant. I don't know why. I just feel it. All right, child. That Leo. See y'all later.